We are learning new details about the suspect Saifullah Saipov and the phone call he made right before the rampage. Authorities say they will be questioning a friend of his who he called in the hour before the attack. Meanwhile, dozens of concrete barriers are in place along the west side bike path where a driver plowed into pedestrians. Eyewitness News reporter Candace McCowan has more on the security measures from Lower Manhattan. Despite the fact that eight people died along this bike path this week, the idea of these concrete barriers meant to prevent cars from driving into the crowds doesn't sit well with everyone. It's the new reality along the Hudson River bike path, not just bicyclists and runners, but barriers. I, I already thought it was bad on the West Side Highway, but this is like a whole nother level of weaving, bobbing, and yeah. It does sort of like kind of walk into the path a little bit. The change happened overnight, the city adding large concrete barriers to pedestrian crossings, similar to what you see in Times Square after a man drove through the crowd there and the state adding even larger barriers placed diagonally across the bike path at vehicle access crossings along the Hudson River bike path. I do this every day and you know, it's, it's unfortunate, but I think it's necessary. The aftermath of this week's terror attack goes beyond this path to this weekend's marathon. The city expecting more than 50,000 runners and 2.5 million spectators. NYPD saying there will be more security than ever with sniper teams, heavy weapons teams along the routes, aviation units and plainclothes officers in the crowds. The mayor talking on the radio this morning. There will be security measures you don't see as well. I, I think the simple answer is this marathon is going to happen. It's going to be great. Uh, what you'll see is more visible police presence. And while the Halloween terror attack is days behind us, the impact it will have on our security is something everyone is still wrapping their heads around. They're fine. I guess they're needed at this point, which is a bummer. I think it's, it's safer for everyone riding on this path, especially after what happened. There are more than 50 crossings from 59th Street to the Battery, and barriers will be placed at every single one.